My name is Lynn Oliver and I'm an author and I'm here today to read you a book of poems that I wrote. And the poems are called Little Poems for Tiny Ears and they're illustrated by Tommy DePaolo, one of the great children's book illustrators of our time. And these poems are intended for very young children, for babies, for toddlers, because it's so important for them to hear good language, rhythmic language, rhyming language. So I'm going to read them to you, and if you're a big brother or sister in the audience, I hope that you enjoy these because maybe you could read them to your little brother or sister too. So are you ready? Good, because I am. This is called Little Poems for Tiny Ears, written by Lynn Oliver and illustrated by Tommy DePaola. This is the dedication page, and it's dedicated to Aniris, who is my granddaughter, my first granddaughter. And now I'm adding also to Electra, who is my second granddaughter, and to Noah, who is my third. And the first poem is called, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see it, I See a Baby. See her? I see a baby in the mirror, lean in closer, see her clearer. If I laugh, or if I coo, or blow spit bubbles, she does too. She is such a copycat and looks like me. Imagine that. There she is looking in the mirror. The second poem is about toes. Do you have toes? I do. I have ten of them. Toes. Way down there at the end of my feet, I've got ten toes. They're really sweet. I can count them, make them wiggle. And when they're tickled, watch me giggle. I dress them up in shoes and socks and take them out for nice long walks. I'll bet that you have ten toes too. Can you cut them like I do? I'll bet you can. This poem on the other page is called Walking. See the footsteps? Walking. Hey, look at me. I'm walking tall on two legs. No need to crawl. If I fall down, I don't mind because I land on my behind. That's why we have it behind. It's nice and soft for landing. The next poem is called In My Stroller. Here's the baby in his stroller. Come on, toots, my parents say. A stroll will do us good. And just like that, we're on our way to cruise the neighborhood. I see two cats and then a dog who barks as I ride by. Oh, there's some girl out for a jog. I wave and tell her hi. It's cozy in my stroller seat, zipping down the block. One day I'll use my own two feet, and I won't roll, I'll walk. Here's a funny poem. It's about your nose. Upward from your feet and toes, you'll find a thing they call your nose. It's in the middle of your face. This is, I think, the perfect place. For if it were inside your ear, you'd find it very hard to hear. And if it grew out from your knee, how strange and silly would that be? Aren't you glad your nose is in the middle of your face? This is called, this poem is called Sneeze. A sneeze is a breeze in your nose. ha -choo! And this is about another thing that lives on your face. It's called my tongue. My tongue is pink and wet, I think. In and out it goes. It's in my mouth, a little south, of where you'll find my Nose. This is a poem about sounds. It's called Noisy Me. Achoo, hiccup, babble, burp, gurgle, giggle, snort, and slurp. Noises come and noises go. They really put on quite a show. This is a called My First Word. You know, babies don't, they're not born talking. And, um, it's called My First Word. My first word, what will it be? Mama, Daddy, more, or me? I might say baby, ball, or puppy, or hold my hands out and say, uppy. When I talk, I might say bird, or maybe words you've never heard, like bingo, gaga, whoopsie goo, or nummy, wawa, dooby doo. 
Now I only point and coo, but I can't wait to talk to you. I'll bet if you have a little brother or sister, you can't wait till they start talking. This is called Dogs. And by the way, that's a picture of me when I was a little girl. Why do dogs have hairy faces and scratch themselves in funny places? I wonder why they have wet noses. To sniff me better, I suppose. Some dogs are big and others small, and some don't look like dogs at all. Never mind, they're my good friends. They give me love that never ends. And here's one about a car seat. You always have to have your car seat. You have to be in your car seat when you go for a drive. It's called my car seat. First, my arms go in the strap. Bag of cereal in my lap. Buckle, click, I'm safely in. Haul out, folks. Let's take a spin. And this is a very funny one called my high chair. This boy is very mischievous. My high chair. I like to drop food from my chair. It lands kerplop, but I don't care. I watch it fall down to the floor. It's so much fun, I toss some more. My mom says no, my dad says please stop launching bits of toast and cheese. They're right, I will try hard to stop. But first, just one more small kerplop. And here's Peekaboo. Peekaboo, I see you, that's what the grown-ups say. To my surprise, they hide their eyes. Then poof, they go away. I do not know just where they go. Their faces disappear. Then in a while, with great big smiles, they're back and say, I'm here. And this is a poem about the kitchen drawer. I'll bet when you were little, you would scoot around the floor and pick things out of the bottom drawer. Watch me scoot across the floor. I'm heading for the kitchen drawer to knock the pots and pans around and throw the dish towels on the ground. I rattle pans and bag the pots and make some noise. Well, okay, lots. The kitchen echoes with the sound till mommy laughs and says, pipe down. She puts the pots and lids away, but I'll be back another day. Oh, here's one about diapers. Diapers are funny, aren't they? It's called diaper time. Every time they change my diapers, they have to clean me with those wipers. They lift my legs up in the air and show the world my bottom bare. One day I will be diaper free. Hey, bring on those underpants for me. And this is a poem about my favorite part of the body, the belly button. Hey there, Mr. Belly Button, you just lie there doing nothing, taking up my tummy space. Can't you find some other place? And here's one about a mobile. A mobile is the music box that hangs over a baby's crib and has dangly things. My mobile. la de dum and la de dee My mobile circles over me. Dangling dinos, nubby sheep, swirl round and round to help me sleep. The happy music plays and then I listen while it plays again. More tinkling, twirling like a top. Will my mobile never stop? And this is one about a snooze, which is another word for a little nap. When I snooze, I don't wear shoes or visit zoos or kangaroos. I close my eyes and see blue skies and dream sweet dreams until I rise. Okay, who likes cats? Because this is a poem about cats. Cats are slinky, soft, and furry. And when they talk, they sound all purry. It's fun when they come up to you and cuddle up like kitties do. And this is a poem called My Daddy's Beard. And I wrote it when I was watching my granddaughter snuggle up to her daddy who has a beard. My daddy's beard is really weird. It scratches when you rub it. But when he snuggles up to me, oh man, I really love it. Who doesn't love to be hugged? Here's a poem about bath time. It's called The Bath. Rubber duckies, floating books, suds and bubbles, happy looks. Bath time's full of games and fun, splishing, splashing, till it's done. Afterward, I'm squeaky clean, the tidiest tot you've ever seen. We dry me off and add some lotion. I'm silky soft, a perfect notion. And these are the last two poems. This one's called Blanky. I'll bet you have a blanky that you like to snuggle with. Without my blanky, me so cranky. When it's by me, 
me all smiley. Here's the last poem. Settle in, because it's a quiet one. It's called Hush. In her favorite rocking chair, my mama holds me tight. We rock and sway the hours away until we kiss. Good night. And that's the end of Little Poems for Tiny Years. I'm going to blow you a kiss. Mwah! And I wish you a lovely and happy day with lots of poetry. Sending you love. Bye-bye from Lynn Oliver.